Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. And we're going to have a little rain out there for today's game between the Clemson Tigers and the Wolfpack of North Carolina State. The Textile Bowl is on the line when these two teams square off and do battle. And here comes the Wolfpack. The Tigers are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. Clemson needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this team together. His ability to read the defense and take what they give him is the reason they'll win this football game. He's a smart young man. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. Clemson will be tough in this one. This one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Here's the kick. Co fields it at the three. Nothing much on the return there. Not much is right. That coverage was all over him. Today we get to watch a very talented quarterback direct the offense. The head coach mentioned earlier in the week how important it is for him to have a good game. There's no doubt about it. He needs to play well today, but it's not going to be easy. He's going up against a very good set of corners. You can have the corners, Kirk. I'll take this quarterback in this matchup any day of the week. He's a proven leader, and he won't let his team down. First and ten, ball on the 24. Single set backfield. Austin gets a pitch, and he's going to throw to the quarterback. Ball's loose, recovered by the offense, and they recover their own fumble. I'm going to tell you something. This guy has got to do a better job of protecting the football the next time he gets it. Second and long, ball on the 31-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Barrett drops the throw, steps up in the pocket. Batted ball, almost intercepted. The quarterback really lucked out there. I thought they had a chance for an interception, but I'm sure they'll settle for the incompletion. It still was a good play. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 31. The Wolf Pack set up in the gun. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. And he brings it down. Tate with a takedown. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. Let's take a look at how these guys have done on offense so far this year. Well, they've done pretty well, my friend. They're in the top ten in the country. These guys have been putting on an offensive clinic all year long. Austin gets a talk. That's a loss of about five. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 17-yard line. The Wolf Pack line up with three receivers bunched. Steps up, looks, across the middle, got it, and he's taken down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is the first down. It's power football time, folks. Touchdown, Wolfpack. A short run gets them the score. Those offensive linemen just abuse their counterparts, huh, Kirk? You bet, Coach. They got the push they needed for the score. Yeah. 
and he hits the PAT. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Green looks ready to kick this one off. We should have a return on this one. McDaniel fields it at the seven. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. It's first and ten, ball on the 29-yard line. Clemson comes to the line with three wide. He tries to spin. He's hit and got away. Atkin brings him down. On the carry, gain of 16 on the play. First and 10. Ball on the 45. The Tiger set up in the gun. McFadden drops back on first down. Someone got a hand on it. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, Coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 45. McFadden comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Throws to the middle. He's got it. Atkins with a takedown. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 38. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. McFadden. Pitchers out to the right. Big opening! And he shoved out of bounds, and they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. And the defense gives up some three yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. The Tiger come out showing three wide. Baker gets it on the inside. Shaw brings him down. He made the tackle, but I think he got a little help from his face mask. Let's check with the referee. Got to deliver the face mask on the defense. Still first down. He wasn't careful enough and got a hand on the guy's face mask. That'll go as a five-yard penalty for grabbing his face mask. to the line with their jumbo package. Lost the ball, pump up, and he's drilled. The big fella puts the ball on the turf, but it's recovered by the offense. Fullbacks block all day long, so when they finally get a carry, they've got to make the most of it. Yep, they can't fumble like this guy. How many carries do you think we'll see him get? Zero, not a none. Zero, huh? That's pretty harsh. I'd say give him another chance if he does a good job of blocking. Make him earn the next carry. They've got all the big boys in for this one. McFadden tosses to the left side. Young with a takedown. The halfback gets the toss and picks up two. Clemson will line up in a jumbo set here. McFadden back to pass. It's tipped. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. Defense! 
The Tigers line up in a goal line formation. He drops back. He rolls out to the right. He'll dump this one off. Got his man. Touchdown. So they call a tight end number, and he comes through with the score. Not only can the big guy block, but look at those soft hands. They should throw his correction for him. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Clemson is ready to kick it away. Co and Austin deep to return. Kicks it off. Co fields at the goal line. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback. Please. The Wolf Pack come out showing three wide. Barrett back to throw. Steps up in the pocket with the throw. Complete. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Couldn't get anything out of that. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 21 yard line. The Wolf Pack come out in the ace formation. Hand off up the middle. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone by him that time. Yeah, the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo! North Carolina State goes with the ace set here. Barrett drops back, throws it to the outside. And got it complete. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. First it's first and ten. Ball, ball on the 39. Single set backfield. Barrett drops back on first down. He'll dump this one off. McNeil brings him down. Another completion. Another chunk of yards. And that'll push him past the 2,000-yard mark for the year. This guy's such a steady performer. 2,000 yards, and he's not done yet. Second and five coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. Single set backfield. Barrett set to go to the air. Across the middle. Brought down. And they threw a flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 15 yards. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Wolf Pack line up with two tight ends. They'll drop him for a loss. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They were coming with a heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. Second and 11 coming up. This is the seventh play of this drive. Barrett on play action. Over the middle. Complete. Ransom with a takedown. Our cameraman didn't even know who had the ball. I'm pretty sure the defense didn't either. The halfback did a heck of a job faking like he was running with the ball. 
hit. They were about to tackle him. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Barrett pitches out to the right. McNeil brings him down for a loss. They were trying to stretch it to the sidelines, but the defense was just too quick. Those guys were in the backfield so fast, I thought they were going to pick it off. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. The kick is up. And he got it. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Green is lined up to kick this one off. Here's the kick. McDaniel takes it at the eight. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll take over at the 29. They line up in the shotgun. Snap goes to the back. They'll bring him down. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and 10. Ball on the 42. One man backfield. Play action. He might not be able to get the pass off. Great speed to find his way to the quarterback. You know, if I were the coach, I'd line this kid up at defensive end every now and then. Wow, can you imagine that? On third form type situations, he'd make a great rush in, Kirk. I like that. I like that, Kirk. Second and long coming up here. Ball on their own 35. Single set back for you. He steps up. He's going left. Complete, and he's on the run. That was a big-time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been picking run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. After a quarter of play, our score is North Carolina State 10, Clemson 7. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. McFadden lines up in the shotgun. McGee again. Washington tackles him for a loss on the play. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel. He had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. McFadden comes to the line with three wide. He's rolling right. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. The gunslinger couldn't hit his receiver on that pass. I wonder why. Could it have been because it was thrown in the next county? Third and 14. Ball on the 38-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up, rolls to the right, throws down the middle, finds a man. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the nine-yard line. They made the third down conversion look too easy. They were just looking for the first and ended up getting a huge chunk of yardage. It's not bad. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Tigers come out showing three wide. McFadden options out to the right. He laterals the ball. Tackle. A pickup of about three.
Clemson comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. And he's taken down. They'll get two on that one. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. He drops back. Looks like he's going to run. Touchdown, Clemson. No one got open, so the preseason All-American took it in himself. You know, you're right, Brad. But to be honest with you, I think he decided he was going to run with the ball the second he took the snap. And he hits the PAT. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Clemson to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Coe fields it in the end zone. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. They'll start this drive at the 14-yard line. North Carolina State goes with the ace set here. Barrett back to pass. Looking, rolling out to the right side. Found his man. Good pick up by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves to play. He wants the ball every time they throw it up. Second and one. Ball in the 23. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Barrett with the play fake, rolls right, throws this one out to the right. His receiver has it. Way to look it in. Nice kick. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and ten, ball on the 43-yard line. Ball on the 43-yard line. Ace backfield, he's going right. And he's got him on the fly. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result was the first down. First and ten, ball on the 38. North Carolina State in a four-wide set. Barrett drops back. Over the middle. Got some open field. Glasper lays it on him. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision-making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Barrett is back in the gun. Barrett steps back to pass with the throw. Here he goes, and it's caught. Knocked out of bounds. This kid just continues to impress us with his ability to catch the football. He's already gone over 100 yards here in the first half. And if you were to ask his defense, who wants to cover this guy, I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. North Carolina State comes out with three receivers bunch. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. They utilize their halfback in the passing game, and he got into the end zone. Well, they know they can go to him in the red zone, and he'll make some things happen for them. Yeah. 
and he tacks on the extra point. So with just under five minutes remaining in the second quarter, the score, North Carolina State 17, Clemson 14. North Carolina State is ready to kick it away. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Hall has it at the five. Now we see the offense come out of the field. And you know who's trembling right now? That defensive secondary. The secondary should be trembling after all the yards that they gave up that last time. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. The Tigers line up with three wide. They go with a run. The tackle. Nine-yard pickup. Nine-yard gain on the play. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Clemson comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Ball on the handoff. And he's tackled. And the tailback picks up the first down. First and 10. Ball on their own 38. McFadden with three wide receivers. Handoff up the middle. Burks with a monster hit. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the board. That's called making a state. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. It's second down now. 14 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. And the leader of the defense at corner is in the zone right now. Here's Jake and Make move. Brought down. No gain on the play. Third and 14. Ball on the 34. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. He's looking. Throws. Complete. Young brings him down. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down mark. They line up to punt this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Austin fields it at the 13 with the spin. Guys, their last possession, they really had good success passing the ball. Hey, if you ask me, I'd air it out some more. Lee, I agree. Make them show you that they can stop it before you change things up. They'll set up shot at the 26. Single set back to you. They'll throw on first down. Comes across the middle. And the cornerback comes in and scoops up the fumble. What happened there, Coach? Let me tell you what. The wideout wasn't carrying the ball like he should. And the defender made a nice play to jar it loose. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Clemson lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. He'll dump this one off. Loose football. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. Good hustle there by the D-lineman. He saw the ball pop out and just went after it. Nice hustle. It sure was. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen. That's what they mean when they talk about a guy who has a motor that's running. He never quit and he played to the whistle. Take over at the 22. 
They line up in the shotgun. He jukes him. Collins with a takedown. No gain. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. North Carolina State goes with the ace set here. Throws it to the outside. Intercepted. He's got some blockers. Tries to shoot. They'll bring him down. What an interception by the cornerback. I love it. A defensive back with soft hands. This kid can play. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. McFadden drops back on first down. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Now that's some heavy pressure. It all starts with the battle up front. I don't care how good your receivers are or how explosive your running backs are. If you can't control the line of scrimmage, then it's tough to move the football. I agree, Coach. And the thing is, this quarterback can make some plays for you if you give him enough time back there to throw. Well, it looks like he's going to have to figure out how to make plays without that. He's on the run. Touchdown, Clemson. That was a fantastic touchdown run by the halfback. This guy looks very impressive. When he has the ball in his hands, good things always seem to happen. And he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Clemson 21, North Carolina State 17. Clemson, ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Coe fields it in the end zone. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the interception. And now you'll find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football or they let her rip? They'll get the ball here at the 23-yard line. Austin. The lone back. Hot. Hot, hot. Hot. Barrett set to go to the air. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Second and ten. Ball on their own 23. Barrett with four wide receivers. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, throws it deep downfield, and it's incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 23. North Carolina State comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He steps up, looks. He guns it to the left. That ball, that close to being intercepted. We knew this drive was in trouble if they couldn't get the pass game going. And I think it's safe to say it didn't get going at all. No one caught a pass on that drive, and that, my friends, deserves a major league yoke. The Wolfpack are lining up to punt it away. It's off, and it is a dandy. McDaniel takes it to the 33. 
Hardly tough sledding for this offense that last drive as they took it in for six. Well, look no further than the guys up front. They created some huge holes to run through. They'll start this drive at the 40. Clemson goes with the ace set here. Drops back to pass with the throw. And it's caught. Young brings him down. Clemson takes a timeout. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. Clemson comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. McFadden back to pass. No one opens, so he's going to run. Quarterback picked up a yard at best there on the scramble. It's third down and five to go. Ball on their own 45. The Tigers line up with three wide. And he's tackled. A decent game, guys, but it won't be enough. Yeah, nice heads-up play here by the defense. The Tigers line up in a goal line formation. And they're going to try to get it through the air. He'll dump this one off. Robinson with a takedown. Clemson calls a timeout. First and ten. And this is the fifth play in the current drive. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. There's the play fake. Throws to the middle. His receiver has it. To the 20. He's all the way down. To the 15. Wow. Nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. And they'll go with a no huddle. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. And he's going to lose yards on this one. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Second and 11 coming up. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. The Tigers come out the shotgun. Throws this one out to the right. Got him on the run. They got a few yards on that pass. Yeah, we talked about how the run will open up the passing game. But some teams like to use their intermediate passing game to open up the run. Either way you look at it, it's good balance. Single set back to you. McFadden will throw for it. No one open, so he's going to run. Touchdown, Clemson. And the quarterback has two rushing touchdowns so far today. Quarterbacks usually get the job done through the air, but this guy's taking care of things on the ground. And he tacks on the extra point. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Oh, fields it at the two. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Clemson, 28. North Carolina State, 17.
We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. He kicks it. McDaniel has it at the five. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 23. Nickel defense. They'll throw on first down. Complete. And they make the stop. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding. On the offense. 10 yard penalty. Still he looked like he had a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little holding. But hey, you can't do that. First and long, ball on the 13. From the gun. Big bat on first down. Down the middle. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep, total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. McFadden has five receivers lined up here. He drops back. And he's hammered as he lets it go. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. They fooled no one there, Brad. Third and long. Ball on their own 13. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. Batman. Drops back to pass. Looking. He's looking for his man. And that one's fallen incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. The Tigers are lining up to punt it away. It's away and it's a booming punt. Austin fields it at the 41. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 44. Barrett is back in the gun. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. There he goes! Tate brings him down. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First it's ten. first and 10. Ball, ball on the 44-yard line. Hey. Nickel defense. They go with a toss. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Tate with a takedown. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still beep, first down. Beep, beep. Uh, Scooter, what are you doing? Kirk, my friend, that's the sound of the offense going in reverse. First and long. Ball on their own 46. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. Throws it deep downfield, and it's the senior. Touchdown, NC State. The wideout made a great catch for the score. Actually, I'm even more impressed with the throw. He hung in there and delivered a beautiful ball. PAT. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac Drive Summary. Green. 
Green looks ready to kick this one off. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Hall has it at the five, a little juke. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping on the receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. They'll take over at the 11-yard line. McFadden lines up in the shotgun. McFadden on first down. He'll dump this one off. And it's gone. It's on the ground. And the defense is on it. A nice recovery there by the cornerback. He's used to going after interceptions, but a turnover is a turnover. And he'll take it any way he can get it. I couldn't agree with you more, Coach. Thanks, Kirk. That's what I like to hear. Anytime. Bye. Excellent field position to start the drive. Yeah. North Carolina State goes with the ace set here. They're going to pitch it. Here he goes. And down he goes. And a huge run by the tailback. This guy's always had outstanding vision, but it seems he's got some incredible quickness as well once he gets into the open field. Boy, you're right. This kid showed me he's a great-looking athlete. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Complete. Fire. Brings him down. Nothing going on that one. Blitz was very effective that time. Yep, they brought the house, and it was all he could do to get the ball out of there. The Wolf Pack come out of the eighth formation. Barrett fakes a handoff, rolls to the left, guns it to the end zone. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. Yeah, I thought the defender had it. <laughs> Kennedy lined up for the field goal. This should be a chip shot. It's up. And he got it. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Carolina State lines up for the kickoff. Here's the kick. McDaniel fields it at the seven. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 27-yard line. From the gun. They'll throw on first down. Throw short. It falls incomplete. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Second and ten. Ball on their own 27. They'll work from the shotgun. Back to pass, steps up, he's looking, throws to the middle, and it's the tight end. 
And he's taken down. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Nickel defense. Here's the option. Pitch it back. Ball is loose. Fumble. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. Coach, what went wrong there for the offense? Poor execution. They got to spend more time on the option in practice before they bring it into the games. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Bunch formation. They'll throw on first down. Looks. Throws this one out to the right. Got it. And he's tackled. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 24. North Carolina State goes with the ace set here. Barrett to the air on first down. Throws it out there. And they couldn't hook up on that one. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 24 yard line. The Wolf Pack come out in a bunch formation. Austin gets the call. Garcia brings him down for a loss. Well, folks, we just saw what can happen if you don't pick up all your blocks. Man, that was an ugly nightmare from the beginning. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 30-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. Barrett drops the throw. Looking. Steps up in the pocket. Over the middle. And they make the stop. And that pass and catch gives them a first down. Yep, they got the first down. But it wasn't by much, you guys. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The kicker got them points on their last Red Zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. North Carolina State comes out with three receivers bunch. Barrett tosses to the left side. There's a missed tackle. Touchdown, NC State. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defense. North Carolina State lines up in a shotgun set. Austin gets another carry. And the defense holds. Well, they had to go for two, but they couldn't punch it in. Yeah, but that's a big play by this defense to get back some momentum. You give up the score, but prevent them from getting the two points. Green, ready to kick, kicks it off. Hall fields it at the seven, gets that one. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that if it happens again. They'll set up shop at the 30. Clemson comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. 
Shaw tackles it for a loss on the play. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 28. The Tiger come out of the ace formation. He passes it off his hands incomplete. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on the 28 yard line. The Tiger come out in a two tight end set. McFadden drops back. He's looking. Throws down the middle. He's all the way down to the 45 yard line. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad. And that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Clemson goes with the ace set here. Setting up the play action. Throws. And it's incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's second down and ten to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Single set back to you. Makes a move. Burks with a takedown. Four yard gain by the back. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Clemson comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Throws short. Shaw brings him down. They get the completion, but it's going to be about a foot short of the sticks. Boy, he'll make sure he gets there the next time. They line up to punt this one away. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. And now he's going to throw it. And it's caught. And the D answered the call there. And this is huge for them. It's setting up the stage for their offense to take the field and make some big time plays. They'll start this drive at the 38. Barrett with three wide receivers. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. His receiver has it. Blasper with a takedown. Move those sticks. That's a first down and a great catch, too. Did you see how he hooked that one in? Oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28. Barrett is in the zone and looking to make a play. He throws it. Touchdown, NC State. The throw to the wide receiver goes for a touchdown. That kid looks like a natural receiver out there. Well, you could say he's from a good pedigree when it comes to football. I think his father's taught him very well. And he hits the PAT. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. McDaniel fields it at the two. Juku. 
The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Will we see a similar result this time? They'll take over at the 29. This defense is looking to their impact corner to make a play. And he stopped behind the line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 28. McFadden comes to the line with three wide. He wants it all going long. The ball is tipped. And they bring him down. That was a big-time play and a new set of down. I think the defense might have been thinking run there, Coach. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is North Carolina State 40, Clemson 28. First and 10, ball on the 27. McFadden lines up in the shotgun. McFadden set to go to the air, and he's got him on the fly. What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. He realized in high school this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Johnson ready to kick. Kicks it deep. Austin fields it in the end zone. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. They'll get the ball here at the 20. The Wolf Pack line up with four wideouts. Barrett to the air on first down. He's looking down the middle and got it complete. The quarterback is now passed for over 400 yards with that last completion. The guy has done a great job moving the sticks all day long. He's a really good player. It's first and 10, ball on the 36-yard line. Austin is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hand. Jed's a tackler. He breaks free. He breaks the second tackle. And he's taken down. He seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. And the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch. Throws this one out to the left. Got it! Oliver brings him down. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. We take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. Barrett with four wide receivers. Barrett off the fake. Throws to the middle. Ransom with a takedown. 
Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. Barrett is back in the gun. He'll get it again. He's hit and got away. Meyer brings him down for a loss. Boy, that was a bad looking play. It all starts with the big guys up front. You gotta get onto your blocks. Shotgun formation. Let's see if they run the draw here. Meyer brings him down. That'll be a gain of three yards. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Play action. Wants to throw outside. Defensive lineman did a good job getting a hand up. Yep, he broke up that play by paying attention to the quarterback, and then he timed his swap perfectly. Barrett with four wide receivers. Nice play fake. Over the middle. And that's a second time today these guys have been able to hook up for the score. Boy, he really looks comfortable in that end zone, doesn't he? And he hits the PAT. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, North Carolina State 47, Clemson 35. Green looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Hall fields it at the two. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Let's see if that passing game does the trick again. First and ten. Ball on their own 23. They come out with three wide receivers. McFadden, back to pass. He decides to run with it. He's got an opening. Brought down. He had a whole lot of room to run on that one. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 40. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He steps up. And that one's fallen incomplete. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. McFadden with three wide receivers. McFadden fakes a handoff. Looks like he's going to run. He's got an opening. And they push him out. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First and 10. Ball on the 48. Ball 
The Tiger come out in the ace formation. McFadden goes with a play fake, and it falls incomplete. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. McFadden on the option left side makes it. Williams with a takedown. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. Third and eight, ball on the 46. If they're not careful, this impact corner is going to make them pay. McFadden still has it, looks, chucks it deep down the right side. The ball is tipped. It falls incomplete. Not on target at all this drive, guys. Ace backfield. McFadden has his work cut out for him here. Throws this one out to the left. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. First and ten. They come out with three wide receivers. Got hit as he threw. It's deflected. Incomplete. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. North Carolina State sets up with four receivers. Steps up. He crosses it short. Complete. Russ brings him down. A couple of yards there. Gain of two on the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball right around midfield. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. Looking. Throws this one out to the left. Got it to his receiver. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. First and ten. Ball on the 38. Three wide outs here. They'll give it off here. And they got him for a loss. The halfback couldn't get any running room. And that was because the defense had called a blitz just at the right time. He went right through the offensive line and nailed him for a loss. It's second down and 12 to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. North Carolina State lines up in a shotgun set. Tate with a takedown. Clemson takes a timeout. Five yard gain on the play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Wolf Pack line up with three receivers bunch. Barrett back to throw. He's looking. Short toss. And it's caught. Ransom brings him down for a loss. Clemson calls a timeout.
North Carolina State in a four-wide set. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. Got it. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Three wideouts here. The handoff of the cover, and he's taken down. The line of scrimmage, that's it. Second and ten, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. Barrett comes to the line with three wide. And they'll run him again. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 21. The Wolf Pack with four receivers. Back to pass. Looks, steps up in the pocket. Over the middle. Touchdown, oh. NC State. And he comes up with his second touchdown catch of the game right there. Kirk, this kid is tough to stop. Yeah, you're right, Coach. You try to keep tabs on him, but eventually he's going to find a way to get open. I think you need to double-team him. And he tacks on the extra point. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. North Carolina State is ready to kick it away. He kicks it. Hall fields it at the three. A confident defense heads out onto the field after stopping this offense on a fourth down attempt the last time they were on the field. And the last thing you want to do is to come out and do nothing again and give them even more confidence. The Tiger line up with two tight ends. Drops back to pass. He steps up and throws down the middle. The pass was right there. Just couldn't be controlled. Just tied in some more passes in practice. He needs all the help he can get. A minute to go in the ball game. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. McFadden drops the throw. It's a tip drill. And they get a few yards on that little reception. Check it out. He ran a good route on this play. And the timing of the pass was good. And they were able to get a nice game. Hall on the delay. He jukes. A nice draw play there. Yep. The tailback had good awareness there, knowing exactly where he had to go to make the first down. The Tiger come out in a two tight end set. He's got an opening. And they make the stop. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. The Tigers line up with two tight ends. And he's hit hard. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be up. Oh, what a hit. You know, at the end of the year, you're going to look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. Clemson comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Hall gets the call. Shaw brings him down. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Break. 
So another third down upcoming for the offense. McFadden has five receivers lined up here. Here they come. Robinson comes away with a sack. Another hard-fought game between these two rivals. Was this what you expected to see? North Carolina State comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2006. But until then, our final score in this one, North Carolina State 54, Clemson 35.